almost every single game has its own OP items. CSGO once had Org Week or the R8 Revolver. World of Tanks PC has the Object 279E. And World of Tanks Blitz, that one OP item is definitely the Smasher. Or at least it was. Is it still to this day the most broken tank that Wargaming has ever introduced? And will it be nerfed because it is a collector vehicle? That hasn't been nerfed so far, so it is unlikely that it will ever going to happen. And with that, I just jinxed it. <laughs> What's so special about this vehicle? I mean, the DPM's fine, the weapon handling is quite awful. You only have six degrees of gun depression, the mobility is not that great. And the armor is fine for a tier 7 heavy tank. So what makes this vehicle all that special? Well, you probably all know it, and that is the absolute derp factor of this gun. Combined with 250 premium penetration on the heat rounds and HE rounds that do over 900 average damage. Now, point four accuracy isn't really that great, but it is still a lot better than the accuracy of a T49 or a KV2, which are the real derp guns in World Tanks Blitz. So you essentially have a gun that should be a derp gun that should have bad accuracy and low penetration. But that's not all that true, and you can, for example, do things just like that with it. Now, there's a thing within the World of Tanks Blitz community that every single tank always gets completely overrated, like every single tank is good. That's not how the word average works. But the Wet Smasher might be the one true OP king that has ever existed. Now, you might think about, oh, uh, but what about things like the Kenyatsu? Well, the Kenyatsu used to be good once, I made a video about the vehicle, but it has been left out of changes a long time ago, which means that it has a lot less hit points and a lot less penetration than a lot of other tier th threes. So that essentially got nerfed. The Smasher, nothing changed about this vehicle whatsoever. And even other vehicles that were extremely popular at tier 10, for example, the TVP, they eventually got nerfed, but the Smasher is still in the game unchanged in its current form absolutely annihilating any tier 6, tier 7, and even some tier 8 paper tanks in the game. You could theoretically one-shot a Bolsig if you get lucky, even though that's obviously very unlikely given the alpha damage is about 960. So, what is the secret? Why the Smasher is here? And, for example, if you look at the side of this guy, what are you going to do? You switch to HE, 377 damage straight into the side because that's balanced. If you're facing a heavy tank, head on, just switch to heat, it's gonna pin straight through. Because this is a problem that a lot of other tier 7s have, is that they really can't deal with tier 8 heavy tanks because they're lacking penetration. The Smasher doesn't care, it's just gonna pin it anyway. And you can even hit shots like that, just randomly, because accuracy works like that. Now, here's the thing. Why has the Smasher not been balanced properly. Well, my assumption to that is very simple. Having one vehicle like that sells really well. I mean, has the Smasher ever been into the shop properly? I mean, it's been in an auction, but it's never really been just chucked into the shop like that because that would, like that Cheeto, be absolute destruction. But having a vehicle available like that that you can sell, that you know people want to buy Demand it to have that is a vehicle you want to have because this is free money. It is literally free money. But here's another problem. If anybody would nerf the Smasher, I mean, if you're a Smasher owner, confirm it in the comments. You'll probably be pretty mad that your child would get nerfed and ripped away from your hands and be made just normal. Which is what the majority of tanks in World Tanks Blitz are. The majority of World Tanks Blitz tanks... They're just normal. You know, they're not great. They're not bad. They're just average. They're just there that you can enjoy. The more you enjoy a tank, the better it is. And the more likely you're going to overrate it as well. If you enjoy a tank, you're going to overrate its statistics. Now, with the Smasher, the pain comes from suffering. Especially from enemy light tanks. Just, just look at that. Like, that is just not balanced whatsoever. Now, how would you nerf the Smasher, theoretically? Obviously, make its accuracy a lot worse. Take away the heat penetration. Reduce the HE damage. That's 
what could be done to balance the Smasher, but I don't think that is ever going to happen because Wargaming had to deal with a lot of backlash when the Type 59 was nerfed 10 years ago at this point. I don't think that they want to have the backlash from nerfing the Smasher, but I could be wrong about that. Now, the thing is, there's always going to be some OP tanks, some unbalanced tanks. That's always going to be the case. But the majority, they're fairly balanced. And that's a good thing, for example, about World of Tanks Blitz, where World of Tanks PC is devolved into a pay-to-win mess of garbage, overpowered, hold-on, heavy tanks that nobody can penetrate. World of Tanks Blitz is very far from that reality, which is very nice. Now, generally, in Blitz, a lot of the vehicles are average, which is a good thing. You don't want all the tanks to be good at everything. You want them to be average at everything, because if every tank has the best turret armor, has the best gun depression, has high DPM, high penetration, you see what happens when you play World of Tanks PC. Everything turns into an absolute hold-down premium ammo shooting mess. Now, that couldn't really happen in Blitz anyway, because World of Tanks PC still has full damage for premium rounds, whereas Blitz has nerfed premium round damage, which kind of is bad for medium tanks, but that's a whole different story for a different video. But... This vehicle is essentially what could happen if World of Tanks Blitz would overvalue and overbuff all of the tanks, right? Like, because it has one feature, just has one feature that makes it insane, right? And that's the gun. The mobility is not that good. The armor is fine, but it is not outstanding. It's just the gun. Even the gun depression isn't that good. Only six degrees, which limits you from playing a lot of positions. But having... One feature like this, this insane alpha damage, combined with a relatively decent accuracy and the ability to penetrate heavy tanks with the HE rounds, just makes it a lot better than it should be. Which is very bad for the game. So obviously every time it's sold, probably gonna get chucked into crates because that makes a lot of money. And uh, that was two minutes and there are four tanks dead on each team the games are getting faster and faster and faster and the game's already getting a lot more complex with more consumables more equipment more customization that isn't really good for making the players learn the game so a smasher could be a great way to get around that because you don't really need to know anything about the game to play the smasher all you need to know is how to generally aim into the enemy's direction press the three key on your keyboard and then send that thing straight to hell. Just turn around, there's a guy that, by the way, that shield is fake, just pen the lower plate, just like that. Boom, nothing he can do about it. Now the important part about the Smasher is, play it careful, play it slow, don't rush in there, you have a 15 second reload, so you want to be careful with your approaches, you want to mind that 15 second reload, 16 seconds even, because at the end of the day, you have quite a big problem once you're reloading because you can't run away you're not fast enough and you can't really defend yourself either that well because the hull can be penetrated by most vehicles but like that elephant he's defenseless just gonna lob a shot at him and just ammo rack him for a good measure so what do you think is the smasher still op and should all tanks in world tanks blitz be overpowered and bad like in world tanks pc where everything's a hull down hyper good heavy tank or should all the tanks be balanced and normal. Put it down in the comments. I'm curious. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Goodbye.